What's up, beautiful people? It's your boy, Mr. Ghana Baby, right here in the National Museum of Eswantini. But you know what I discovered after traveling 16 African countries? I realized that personally, I don't even know my African history. So what I'm going to do is that every country that I go to, we need to know how that country is formed. And since I'm in Swaziland, this is the first ever episode. We want to know how the kingdom of Swaziland, not Swaziland, sorry. We want to know how the kingdom of Eswantini came into existence. And you know that I always travel to land. And I got to do this by myself. I got a beautiful Swazi, uh, I mean a beautiful Swazi woman, you know, with all the qualities to tell us all we need to know. My name is Maya, and nice to meet you. Thank you. This is Beli Wellamini. I'm the museum educator. Okay. Yes. Can you please educate us on how the kingdom of Eswantini was formed? Okay, what I can say is, you see, there is no specific, um, the period is not accurately uh, being uh, stated, but all what you know is that the, uh, the Maswati, they originated from uh, Central Africa. Uh, what I can say is, it's not just the Maswati, the Nguni clan, which end up occupying the whole part of the Southern Africa, that includes the Emaswati. So for this country to become Swaziland, uh, I would say Eswatini, in other words, it actually existing in the uh, early centuries, like in the 14th centuries, but officially it was called uh, the Kingdom of Eswatini in 17 uh, centuries. So that means, that doesn't mean there was nothing happening before then. But the kings were regarded as paramount chiefs. Yet we did have other chiefs as, as uh, it currently happening even today. We've got chiefs, we then have the kings. Okay. Um, we started having chiefs and paramount chiefs. Mm -hmm. By that time, the paramount chiefs were regarded as the king until the 17th centuries whereby we officially occupied the country and it belonged to the Emaswati. So the Ngunis occupied this the, land? The southern part of Africa. Africa. The it's southern part of Africa, yes. not just... Um, yes, so the Swazis are part and parcel of the Nguni people. Oh, okay. Yes. So when the Swatis came into um, this land, were there people in here? Yes. Okay, who are uh, the people that were in here? Uh, they were also the Nguni's, but there are those that came before, okay. because the the Lamini's who are now the kings, uh, the, the the genealogy of the kings, they then submitted under them because they were big and they did not fight them, but they made peace with them. Okay. Yes, they were just small clans by then, but the the Lamini clan was very big. So. If I should understand, it's the Lamini people who are ruling the country yes, right now. that is the royalty, yes. Amazing. So, um, when did this country have its independence? In September the 6th, 1968. So, when they had independence, who was the king at that, that time? That was King Sopuza, the, current, uh, the second, that is the father of the current king. Okay, so he actually helped the country to gain its independence Definitely. from who? From, we actually get a protectorate from the British, okay. yes, colonized, so we were colonized by the British by then. Okay, yes. so uh, after the country gained its independence, mm -hmm. the king ruled for how long? Uh, he then died, he passed on in 1980. 1980. 81, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And then after? And then uh, during that period, and then there was Queen Regent that was still uh, holding up the position up until King Mswati took the, the throne. I'm kind of confused in here. If the father was King, what? Okay, what I can say is if by that particular period, uh, the king passes on and there is that crown a uh, uh, king okay. still an infant okay so he will be actually led to grow up 
until the time when he'll be ready to go to the throne. So in that particular period, the queen mother will carry on ruling the country because the king and the queen mother are the head of states. Okay. Yes. So it seems, there's something that I don't understand. You mentioned the name of the king who passed on. That is that is King Sopoza the second. King Sopoza yes, the second. That is the and, father of the current king. And the, the and the current king is called Nswati yes, the third. The, yes. Why the change of a name if that's the father? Uh, that is actually not for us to know why they changes the titles, but the same name is the same. It's the title that is different. Oh, so um, Swati is actually not a surname. No, it's the title of oh, the king. Oh, wow. Yes. Do you know the real name of the king? Yes. What is the real it's name? It's Maposetive. I mean, like. The kings uh, of the nation. I, I, I'm, I'm really shocked. You know, I didn't know all this. I told like. The name of the king is in Swat. No, that's the that's title. A title. Like you are the CEO, but you for your own. You see. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Amazing. So like so far, how many kings of this country are? Uh, since 17th centuries up to today we had nine. But that doesn't mean that before 17th centuries we were no kings. There were yes. kings, but they were not Laminis. They were all Laminis. They were all Laminis. Yes. I'm learning so much. Because it started with Jamini and then Guane and then it went on and on up to date. Up to date. Yes, but different tackles, they are all Jaminis. So that means the father was the same and then the sons, they... So it's like a lineage kind yes, of Yes, the genealogy. Wow. Yes. Amazing. You know, like, before I let you go, mm -hmm. I have one question that so many people are asking me mm -hmm. because we all know the this kingdom to be called a kingdom of what? Swaziland. Swaziland, yes. But now it's called the kingdom of Eswatini. Mm -hmm. Why the change of the name? What I can say is it has been Eswatini. Uh, I would say it has. I would say it has to do with the influence of the British colony, okay. because uh, for us it's, it's, it's we call it Eswatini. But because we're being uh, colonized by the British, they couldn't really pronounce very well uh, Swazi and Aswati. But it has always been that. Since the past two years, whereby the king declared to be officially called according the way it's supposed to be. So, if I should understand, Aswatini is the um, Swati word yes. for Swaziland. You can say like that, but for us, we are Emaswati. The country is Eswatini for the Emaswati people. So it's not Swazi for Swaziland. So that means it's not like we are called it. It's the, our vernacular language. Uh -huh. So the king was correcting what was wrong. Yes. So it's just that it's been lo long known Swaziland, of which we used to get to, uh, we get used to that. But it's the correct way of calling the real us. So from today, I hope most of you will understand that they actually did not change the name because I think when I was in China, I remember I did a video about it. They said I thought they said it's a the Swaziland is the colonized word, um, and I, I was saying that if um, Swaziland is the colonized word, which means the name Africa should be changed because Africa. It's also named by the colonizers. Yes. Yo, it's your boy Mr. Ghana baby right here in the kingdom of Eswatini. I've learned so much today and I hope you also learned something today. Is there any question that you want to ask? I'm still in the country. So leave a comment. Let me know what you want to know. And if I have to come back and ask her more questions, I will do that. Um, do you want to say anything to people watching us out there? I would say, um, please come and visit Eswatini Kingdom. It's a beautiful country, the people are loving, and there is more to see about how Emaswati are living. We are a country that is rich in our culture, and I have observed that other countries, they have, like, the, the culture is fading away. For us, it is still strong and vibrant, so come and enjoy the Eswatini Kingdom. Thank you. I forgot to ask you, so which means it's only one tribe in this country? Yes, you speak one language which is Swati and the second language is also an official language that is English. We've got only two official languages. And um, it's 
one big family. It's one big family. And it's just one And we family. are somehow related. Exactly. Yes. Related to who? To each other. If you go back to the history, father, <laughs> your father was, a, you see. <laughs> yes. Ah, I want to say thank you so much for talking yes, to me. It's I my pleasure. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.